Alright, and today I have a 2009 Toyota Corolla with a 2.4 liter engine and I have the code B0748 transmission shift solenoid valve SL1 has failed or you can get it with the letter A transmission shift solenoid valve uh, the letter A right there it depends on what scanner you use so I'm gonna be testing this one physically and also I'm gonna be showing you how to uh, test, uh, test this solenoid and also the wire diagram in case if you need to change the wires because sometimes the problems can be on the wires these are not the wires that belong to this solenoid by the way I just installed these ones to because it's ready to be tested uh, banana type wires I always like this one to test uh, these solenoids alright first of all if you put the solenoid in this position like this this is pin number two and this is pin one here the negative alright I'm gonna be putting it on top of the battery here let's turn on the multimeter Let's put it in ohms mode. This solenoid has to pass two tests in order for this solenoid to be okay, to be in working order. If we fail one of uh, one of the two tests I'm gonna be doing, then the solenoid is defective and it must be replaced. So we're gonna go ahead and do the first one. And if we get between, between five and 5.6 ohms, then this shift solenoid should be passing the first test or is passing the first test. So let's see. Let's, I'm gonna just like that see right here and 5.6 ohms so this solenoid has passed the first test we're gonna do the second test now let's grab a bulb let's put a, a wire a wire here like this another wire on the other side and it's gonna look like this grab any side of the wire it doesn't matter which one this one or the other side and connect it to the positive right there positive on the on pin number two and then go to the positive right here and then to the negative here before connecting this to the negative if this shift solenoid passes this test the bulb should turn on kind of dim not exactly uh, really bright but kind of dim i'm gonna put it here so it can be a little more visible probably just right there let's see all right that is the bulb right there it's dim as you can see it's not completely bright see do you hear the sound but this time also made a sound when uh, when i connect it but sometimes it doesn't see this time it didn't do it but if i disconnect it's gonna make the big sound see so this shift solenoid has passed this test also so that means this shift solenoid is in very good condition I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm gonna disconnect it completely for a few seconds, then let's do it again. And see right there, every time I connect it, the bulb comes on, but very dim, so dim, see? Not completely bright, that's how it's supposed to be for the solenoid to pass the test. The camera is not gonna see this, but once you connect it, the valve is supposed to go up and down. I'm gonna disconnect it here, uh, let's see see just like that probably the camera is not gonna be able to see but you have to watch that the, the plunger moves inside right there see the valve moves right there up and down not only that makes the sound but make sure the valve moves and of course the bulb has to come on here are the instructions from the toyota software on how to fix any problem related with the transmission shift solenoids Thanks for watching and stay blessed.